Okay, go. Okay, so these are the things that we've seen forever. Uh, we need a job portal. What was that? <laughs> we got we got to do wasted talent. Oh my God, wasted talent. That's that's the job that. portal. Wastedtalent.com. Oh, wasted talent. I forgot about that one. That was good. I mean, essentially, I think our best thing together is to set up businesses and to and then to hand them off to people. Yeah, I agree. You know, once we got yeah. the templates up, we you know, we could pop out so many businesses so quickly and get people working. That's what people need, right? We, we gotta create work for people. Yeah, we do. We gotta create work for people, man. You're totally right. So I found a really I had a really good idea of you know, for our, I had a good idea for an app called Transform. Okay. okay? And I, I, I read the book, The Experience Economy, which is one of the best books I've ever read. It talked about how we move from a goods economy to a service economy, to a data economy, to an experience economy. And we're in the midst of the experience economy revolution right now. But mm. after, and from the experience economy, the highest form of experiences are transformation. So he predicted that the highest revenue is going to be when people, if their ultimate life aim is to experience transformation. And so the economy around personal transformation and wellness and all that's going to be where this whole cycle moves to where, mm. you know, when you've, when you've done all the things, gotten all the things, where are you going to move to you want to transform? And our whole community is people who are working in transformation, whether it be meditation sessions, breath work sessions, you know, drum rattle creation sessions or, you know, chakra healing workshops or our whole community is yeah. basically geared to that because, where, where are we? We're with people that have gone through that cycle and now want to take that transformation and bring it to all the people to help heal. So if that really is our community, if that's where we are sitting and thriving, then imagine if we created an app called Transform where you could immediately go in, you could search for the different people out there, you could have a friend recommendation engine that would recommend the people based on who your friends like and work with. You can work directly through them. Every time you book like three or four sessions through there, you would get a free one from somebody. So it would be, you know, keeping really strong incentive to keep using the system for both parties. It was like Fiverr. Imagine Fiverr, but except for just random gigs, it was specifically built to facilitate transformational work. Mm. That's it. Simple app like that. It's like the Upwork for transformational work. You know what? One of the guys in the, the Up game is, I think, creating something like that that is putting Airbnbs together with sort of transformational facilitators that's cool kind of similar but he he you probably know him i don't know his last name but he seemed pretty on the ball um, mm -hmm. yeah i was thinking this would be more like less in person and more global so people could do them by a zoom they, could, they right. could do them in person as well but you know given today's circumstance you could be you know, anybody, I mean, even you, you could go there and offer coaching sessions and people who offer like, you know, even, uh, me. Uh, even you. Yeah. Like value systems reading. I'm just saying it could be more, it could even be, me. It, it could even be more, come in? <laughs> even you, even you are, you even know, you, here. even you, even your weak ass mapping here. sessions to work. Weak ass <laughs> inflow matrix bullshit. <laughs> there you go. There. <laughs> Yeah. Your upside down garbage can. The Sufi master of uh, even you this. <laughs> I want to create an app called Even You Can Do It. <laughs> <laughs> even you. <laughs> I like that. What do you think about that? <laughs> you one. can do it. <laughs> it's a, don't you find it's interesting in the mind when you really pop into the freedom of design space and you really remove the limitations of, of what you think is possible and then you can create anything and yeah it's it's unlimited isn't it it's just like right now we are in an unlimited creative space it's, it's truly unbelievable to me just the fact yeah. we're talking like this is unbelievable to me yeah it's pretty awesome <laughs> so do you know what I noticed? Yeah. So I noticed in terms of the uh, the pattern or the stopping of the pattern, it's like the shadow is no longer driving me. I see that. And it's 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 like when you when you're really in the flow, you're just navigating possibilities, and it doesn't matter mm -hmm. if something doesn't work out because there's all these other possibilities everywhere. 
Mm -hmm. for me to now you're when when you're in that flow but to get in there you have to get in that flow (laughs) when you're not in the flow you're frustrated or at least i am Mm -hmm. A frustrated sweep is a good sweep. No, it's not. <laughs> Nobody wants yeah. to be around a frustrated sweep, believe me. <laughs> no, we don't. But I think you're right in the sense where, like, you know, this challenge with the inflow is it's how do you build a whole world system? You have to apply it to context, right? And you have to do a lot of work and research. And uh, and that's it without really good context to apply it to. And that's why I think the couple of places to apply it to are, you know, obviously on the kind of, not the lower end, but the, you know, on the synergy lens, it's like optimizing business processes. Yeah. You know, optimizing communication, creating better rituals in the workplace, better communication flows, better agreement structures, better transparency. All of that can happen through just conversation types and rules around conversation types and better communication tools and better ways of organizing information and people. Yeah. So that's all on the synergy level that can happen. On the higher level, it is organizing shared knowledge communities or organizing people together in their ideal jobs to solve specific systemic issues and then connecting these foundations who have billions of dollars that are sitting there trying to fund good stuff and rather than just throwing it to a nonprofit, you're throwing it to a new systemic organization system that's building frameworks, technologies, platforms to re-self-organize humanity. And so how do we convince them that we're doing that? How do we show them that this is not just a pipe dream or a talk or just a series of maps, right? We have to do it. Yeah. And, and you got to do it first. Do you know how nice it is to hear you speak? Do you, do you know how nice it is to hear someone else speak it, know it, understand it, and get it, right? It's like the more, the whole thing about this is creating those same shared reference points where you can go synergy wheel, boom, I get it. Research, boom, I get it. And that we have the same language mm-hmm. reference point so we understand one mm-hmm. another. Mm-hmm. Right? It's, you're you're beautiful, brother. I, I I bow to your I bow to your genius and your your ability to comprehend and see things immediately and to put things in perspective and context. And I imagine um, you will now go into the higher level of my own frustration with the world. Uh, where people aren't, aren't quite. I started, I'm like, why am I starting to understand Elijah more? <laughs> You will hate me more and more as you proceed. Oh, I know. I'm already sitting in rooms being like, "Mm." (laughs) hmm. Enough of the patterns. (laughs) Uh, Well, the the thing is, like, like you're at some point, right? If you're a true facilitator, you've got the power of the whole room. You are the person who is who is making sure that everyone in the room is sort of like the process is occurring. And so if you're in a room where you now see, you know, dead processes or things that aren't occurring or things that aren't transforming, that's going to drive you crazy. Right? So people are going to pay you a lot of money to come and do your magic. You're going to hang with people who are doing your magic all the time, or you're going to be of service to groups of people come to you and go, Hey man, how do you do, you know, you know, because I, I think what you're learning, is is you know you're going to learn how to build an skc just by yourself Mm -hmm. right and that's a true Mm -hmm. nexialist and that's if i can't you know someone else has to do it other than me and you're Mm -hmm. you're you're, you're, (laughs) it ain't gonna be zamir (laughs) (laughs) well hearing that zamir is recorded now this is recorded (laughs) (laughs) but you know what i i would definitely like if I was going to choose someone to be the wise philosopher king of an SKC, I would choose Samir. Yeah, for sure. So I, I, I think that what he holds is a is the wisdom of of, of truly being in one's dharma. So I mean, I, I mean, we may be laughing. Yes, he really holds Samir, the center point. But yeah, you know, we we hold you at the highest level of respect. I mean, there's definitely- well, just another. Uh, side reference. So uh, the COO of Unify Ventures right now, his name is Ian Downey. He works with Vortex Domes and he's created over a hundred domes around the world. He works and he, he works with all the planetariums around the world and programs them to create transformative conscious experience and 360 immersive dome experiences. What? Yeah. And so I talked to him about your vision of the communication room in every city. He's like, what? absolutely. He's like, he's like, that's what I'm working on. What? 
Yeah, so we got a big move forward on that dome concept, 360 immersive dome, how to do it, how to infrastructure it. What? Yeah, so that, like, we're way, like, far, like, literally the best in, expert in the world on that is now on Unify as our COO. So just FYI, putting that in your domain. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, so that's gonna that's, happen. We're gonna get the oh. we're gonna get the communication dome up soon. And I'll bet you it's a Dill's thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's gonna be all of our things, bro. No, like, but for just... me, the for me the inflow and the in, the communication and the work we're doing will have to be the root of what we're doing here, right? So, uh, you know, we got to build our starship. But yeah, it's definitely gonna be uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, all those motherfuckers room, right? who shouldn't think <laughs> we got to deal with that guy again. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get your revenge. I am your revenge in so many situations, aren't I? <laughs> Either against me or for me in some manner. Is the humor getting to you yet? Me? Are you seeing the divine comedy here? Are you seeing the ridiculousness of what we're attempting to do? Sometimes. I definitely feel like I need more of the infrastructure of the TV show itself. Mm. And that's why hey. I really want to, I, that's why I really feel like me and you need to sit down together with Caravan and Deem and really look at, okay, you know, what are we doing with it? You know, we have an awesome tool. It's a really good structure. We created basically a web TV creation show. You know, it's, you know, we went through a big hit with uh, COVID and Amazon and all that stuff. And, I'm going to work on getting some funds back to clear all the mess. But once we do, I want to have a coherent vision moving forward for that company. And I'd love your support with that. With the well, why don't we, you know, throw me a bone. And uh, you know what throw me a bone means, right? I, then, I think I do. <laughs> okay, throw me a bone. And why don't we, we use Focus Veeam on the very secret plan. And we, we create, v, like, a, we use that as a, as a, test case to figure out how to do everything and so okay, the people, that like. so everyone in the very secret plan gets their own show um and we just take these conversations that we're having right and and it's just press the button boom goes on the website goes in like we're, we're just missing all the pieces are there now we just have to automate it so it isn't so fucking much work for me and you to do all the work right mm -hmm. we just have to automate it so click press the button, videos in, on encoded, onto the show, into the website, through the distribution system, and we're not freaking thinking about it. Yeah. Right? And then everything comes back around, but it doesn't matter. Like, I don't care about, you know, we have the content, we have the, we have all the pieces, we just have to automate them together. Yeah, well, there's a couple of things, I'll, yes to that, and this, I, I've taken and looked at in my own way, I created like this master doc of how we would use something like the inflow and how we would use it for businesses specifically as well. So I wanted to talk about that vertical a bit as well. Okay. Yeah, which is a bit different. I was thinking of taking an app and calling it ritual because what is a ritual, right? Uh, a ritual is a, from the Sanskrit word rhythm or rhythm, right? And any rhythm and anything that you do within cycles is a ritual, right? So you program something within a cycle and you have a set of agreements around how you're hold, holding that field then you can do a ritual around it. And right now with remote work blowing up around the world and everybody working from home, you're not in person. So how do you create these remote work rituals? How do you have teaming conversations or clearing conversations? How do you have these conversations that become these rituals that have conversation types that use something like a caravan to create a collective, you know, input. So, you know, yeah, just wanted to jam with you on that. You know, I have pointed to the convo types going, this is going to change human behavior. I know. I totally know you have. And that's why I haven't listened. And I want to just have a debrief with you because it's been a while. Yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm totally down for it. I mean, it's, again, it, we're, we're within the realm of unlimited creativity. We are. And you know what? We have Zoom, which is synchronous communication. But as soon as Zoom goes beyond eight people, man, it's a fucking mess. It's yeah. the worst communication tool out there. You can't harvest any collective anything. You know, something like a caravan like, and asynchronous like, communication is way better. Well, what I would want to do right now is I would want yeah. to frame this convo, have the ability yeah. to put a convo type in between. As we change and, 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 and go, like as a facilitator, I would want to change the convo type somewhere. So we go, okay, we just went from, you know, uh, negotiating, just went to storytelling, just went to this, this, this. So at the end of the output, the Zoom call would actually have the framing 
the condo types to show what actually occurred as it was occurring. Like that yeah. would be fucking phenomenal, right? It'd be like, so fucking awesome, man. It'd be so great. If you could have a live switching of combo type and a li live realigning of the inflow. Like, okay, now we're in a brainstorming conversation with the choice lens of X. Okay, boom. All right, we agree. Okay, that's the parameter. And that's why I'm saying when I talked to you in the beginning of this is I see like the immediate unique selling proposition of the inflow is the ability to organize the flow of our attention. Like you've been saying in those pipes, define yeah. the pipe and then harness the output towards that pipe in a meaningful way. Like that's like an early adopt. Like you probably get a lot of early adoption there. And of course, yeah. as money and attention flows to the system for a simpler tool like that, then you build the whole ecosystem of everything. And that's always how it should be done. And that's what I've been learning from building tech and failing in the last five years is that I've tried to build too much at once. Um, and everybody who's built tech and built really successfully has given me feedback saying solve one problem first. And when you solve that problem well, you can solve 10 and then 100 because you'll have the funding, attention, and credibility to do so. Yeah. So, yeah. So let me send you this doc. I'd love to get your input on it. Maybe we'll start there. I want to show you um, very secret plan. So who who brought Lassiel to your attention? Her name is Lori. <laughs> Man, I've got a new computer, but it's still too slow. Really? Yeah. You should have I checked mean, with me before you got the computer. Yeah, so I, I could have really looked at your settings and made sure it was the right one, but whatever. Well, I mean, yeah. it's just a... I just got to upgrade the RAM and other things, but I mean, I, I just know at some point I'm going to have a setup that I can actually fucking keep up to what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah. Website building is actually kind of fun. I haven't. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, here's the thing. Like, the one thing this, Zamir just, I'm uh, sorry, Shaq just got a desktop because his laptop was not powerful enough. And you know, he has a good laptop because he's mm -hmm. doing a lot of video editing right now. So, um, I you know, you're like, yeah. Anyways, just I just sent you the doc. Okay. Still get over it. It's really generic right now. I just put some information. Basically, why synchronous video is <laughs> not great for everything. Why asynchronous video could be really good for work. The different types of processes that I could see it being used for. Um, there's no map or anything like that. Do you know what changed everything? Is when you what? sent me that uh, Plant Your Guardians logo. Yeah. Everything freaking changed with that logo because it, the logo is so freaking important, you know? And it's good, isn't it? It's I worked hard on that. I, I worked hard. I, I paid three different people to create three different versions. So I really wanted to get the right one. I, that, I don't know if it's the best work you've done, but it was, it was like massive, right? Just massive. Because then I could start branding everything, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm going to... We need the same for the Inflow Matrix, bro, by the way. Yeah. We need to figure out a branding exercise for the inflow. So maybe well, you can think, I, I, it has to be circular. There's some information like flow, pipes. There's something in there that, you know. Okay, can you, you see this? About. Yeah. Okay, I just want you to look more at the core structure here. So current episode, captain's log, web TV shows, storylines, and here we go. We go members, characters, males, females. Let's see, what do we got here? 
Now look what we got here. The global value. I just, I, I'm oh mainly. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even see that. That's me sitting at the uh, <laughs> Santosh Puri Ashram. Oh my God. Look at the global values project and the inflow matrix. Five minutes. We got tons of shit online that nobody's seen, you know. So look at this. Join the plan. Get the starter kit. Entry level one planetary guardians. So the storylines are just all the different people, right? Look at yep. the rev. Here's the rev is in my doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> I can put people in the doghouse when I want. So there's Elijah Reminds, Amir Shack, Jordan Shambu, William Clint, George, Kyle, Noah. Females. Um, females. Camille, Miss Plum, Lara, Lindsay, Chino, Terry, Samantha, Lisa, Lori. Like, nobody knows what's about to happen to them, to their lives. <laughs> All the people we choose are going to Zoom, you know? They're going to go from obscurity to global stage in minutes once things take off. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think I want to have my own. I got to have my own TV show and compete with the very secret plan. I'm well, sorry, of course, well, no. Here, here's like building the inflow matrix. Or there's the Earth Manifesto show, and the building yeah. the inflow matrix show. So if you go to like building inflow matrix, then that's our that's. That's the beginning of uh, Noah doing his thing and me doing my thing. And anyway, just cool. like, so you. Cool. Yeah, you're organizing, you're organizing the data. Yeah. Like, look, Love Profit, Spinning Ninny, uh, the Mastermind Group I'm in, Evil News, Shift the Narrative. I, look, you want to see something I've done for the last two months with Lisa? I've done, fuck by God. she. I've done like over 15 episodes of one hour. Oh, really? Just me and her talking. Who's Lisa? Lisa's this uh, woman I knew in in Calgary from. Uh, can you see her? Yeah, I can see her. Yeah, so I knew her like 20 years ago, and I disappeared, and I can't. And then we, she connected back to me, and and she's very much into her own development, and she's a wild woman. How did you get that nice little split screen view? What did you use for that? This um, that's in the that's in Streamyard. We do, we we use Streamyard. With that that's a streaming app okay and so and there's a guy anyway so I mean basically I'm actually working on like 10 shows at, at once right now that are all in yeah. the inflow and so I've been so I've got the very secret plan website and I've got the last CL foundation website and those seem to be the two things and I'm, and I'm about to start an old growth force coalition website. So I think a lot of my yeah. time is going to be spent at the website level of, of determining. And the, but the websites are the outputs of Caravan. Yeah, I need to start creating the Earth Manifesto TV show. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I mean, yeah. every yeah. conversation, you should be like me. You should just do whatever I'm doing. Like every conversation I, really should. I have I should with be people, doing everything you're doing. Yeah. Every, and record it. It's content. 100%. You're right. All content. <laughs> all conversations are content. That's my new motto. All yeah. conversations are content. All conversations are content. Yes, you're right. So, so I shouldn't be having a single damn conversation that's not content. You should create a website that just is the exact same as a very secret plan, but call it like the, the even secret or very secret plan. You know, I like, I love that angle. And that means you're always <laughs> competing to have the better plan. I love that angle. <laughs> um, you know, and, and we're bouncing between all these things and, and there's going to be conflict and there's going to be whatever the fuck is happening between the people. And that's just humans, right? That's just human interaction. But I told you, when me and you connect, everything connects. You know, it's, it's like no one else. Yeah, I there, see that. No one else. has. Well, you know, out. I, me and you are, I feel like, in a really good energy now. And I feel like there's a lot of mutual recognition and uh also, a lot on my, you know, I think a lot of our, our, our both of our parts that we've had to learn and draw up to get here. Yeah, I didn't hear anything uh -oh. you said. Last two minutes is struck. <laughs> Probably for good. I didn't hear anything for the last two minutes. Hello, hello. you there? 
Yeah. Yo, you back it up? Yeah. Hey, back it up. We're okay now. Uh, yeah, I think, again, the, uh, the importance of the synchronization between me and you being on the same page and the same team is so important for this whole thing to happen. Yeah. Cannot be understated how important it is. Yeah. And, so, yeah, you know, I'm here for you. I got your back. You let me know how I can support you. Um, just in anything you need, just know that. Uh, let's keep doing these days and keep building. I think this, these, these, this chunk of time is, are you still there? Are you yeah. Gone? Yeah. Hello. Okay. Actually, I've got like a four o'clock call I got to go to. Ramayan, hello. Okay, remind, I'm going to end this, okay?